video, we'll take a look at the if-else statement within C Sharp by creating a program using the primary colors. And so we're going to go ahead and say new project. And I'll call this project primary colors. I hit OK. And I'll begin this program with three simple things. A text box, a button, and a label. So I'll move this over a button. Label and a text box. And we'll give them all names. And we'll start with the text box. We'll call the text box TXT color button. I'll just call this one CMD OK. And I'll set the text value on that button. OK. And then we'll also look at the label. And I'll just call this one LBL output. And we'll change the value down here for the text. So that changes what it looks like on the form to primary color. Alright, now that I've got my form created, we'll just go ahead and go to the code view. So I'm going to double click on the button. And we're going to go ahead and write a code for the CMD OK click event. And the first thing we'll do is go ahead and grab the text that's within that text box and store it in a variable. So I'm going to go ahead and create a string and call this string str color. And we're going to set it equal to the value that's typed in the text box. And since that value already is a string within a text box, I don't need to do any converting. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it to txt color dot text. Go ahead and put a semicolon at the end. And that'll go ahead and give us that value stored in that variable. So now we can go ahead and do some comparisons with this. So I'm going to use the if statement if. And we're going to first start off with str color is equal to and we'll go ahead and type in red alright and we'll just go ahead and end that if statement for now we're going to come back to it and add the other primary colors but I'll go ahead and hit enter and I'll begin my curly brace hit enter end my curly brace and then I'll space it down a little bit here for me to work with and let's go ahead and put on their output label, output label, LBL output, that's what we're looking for, dot text is going to equal, you have chosen a primary color. We'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. All right. So now if we go ahead and run our application, I'll see what error do I have here. Okay, I see my error here. I've got the equal sign. Uh, and I'm with it within C sharp if I set one equal sign here, but then I comparison to check to see if this value is true. It's trying to set red as the str color variable. And so what I need to do is whenever I'm using a comparison value, I need to set up to two equal signs. And I'll change it to compare to see if it is equal to the red. So now if I run my application, and we're going to go ahead and try this out. And so you'll see that nothing changes if I type in blue. We have nothing for blue. If I hit OK, nothing happens. But if I do type in red, and I hit OK, it says you've chosen a primary color. And so we're going to go ahead now and modify our application a little bit more to add the other primary colors. And what I can do now is use the OR comparison here up at the top, or compound. And so you've got str color is equal to red, so if, if it's red, then we've chosen a primary color, and we're going to add the other two primary colors here. So I'm going to say the OR, and to do OR I need to do the two vertical pipes here, and this is going to give us the OR, uh, and just because there are more than one option for primary color. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in str color, is equal to, we'll say blue, or if str color 
is equal to yellow. And so now I've gotten three different options, meaning that if my value is either red, or it's blue, or it's yellow, then the condition will be true, and it will run my code for my if statement, which is right here, you've chosen a primary color. Now what if it's not one of those colors and I hit the button? Well then, if it's anything else, it's no longer a primary color. So we can use the else statement now down here, and we'll go ahead and type in else. And this is going to be after my curly braces for my if statement. And so what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to write code for if it's not a primary color. And I'll go ahead and just say LBL output that text is going to equal you have not chosen a primary color. And we'll go ahead and close that with a semicolon. So let's go ahead and run our application now. So it's either going to be if it's one of these three colors, my output will be primary color, or else it's going to be uh, not a primary color. Anything else that's typed in. So if I run my application here, and I type in a color, like blue, and I hit OK. You'll see it's cho I've chosen a primary color. If I type in green, I've not chosen a primary color. And so not actually finding green anywhere, basically what it's saying is it's not one of the three, so it has to be the else. So anything else I type in, even if it's not a color, like rock, you'll notice that it's not a primary color. Anything I type in other than red, blue, or yellow is going to list um, that it's not a primary color. So if I type in a primary color, it will work. And this concludes the video on using the if-else statement within C-sharp.